Hello all. So in the earlier video, we had discussed on the different types of organolytical reagents and their synthesis. Now in this video, I shall uh, just brief you on uh, the reactions of organolytical reagents. And uh, here today, I will be discussing on the uh, a single reaction that is uh, alkene alkyne oligomerization. How the nickel uh, reagent help in alkene alkyne oligomerization. Now uh, oligomerization is uh, nothing but a type of uh, you can say as a polymerization but then in polymers hundreds and thousands of monomers come together. To get an oligomer we uh, only two to th I mean uh, four or to five to six monomers come together to form a, a, a macro bigger molecule. And uh, you may get a branched compound or a cyclic compound. Now here uh, we shall see formation of uh, cyclocta tetrae and uh, the synthesis is called rep synthesis or repe synthesis. So cyclocta tetrae can be synthesized by uh, with the help of uh, nickel reagent. Now this is the uh, uh, simple uh, depiction of the uh, reaction formation of cyclooctatetraene is we're using acetylene as the substrate. You use four molecules of acetylene and you get one molecule of cyclooctatetraene and it is a type of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 cycloaddition. Four twos. Alright, you get eight membered ring system. So four monomers of acetylene have come together to get a, to form a uh, cyclic compound. So here you have a nickel cyanide compound, uh, which is the nickel uh, reagent which we are using. All right. Now we'll sh we shall see how this uh, uh, reaction happens or the mechanism of synthesis. Now here I have uh, written the, uh, I mean drawn the depicted the mechanism of synthesis. Hope it's clear to you. I mean visible to you. Now this is the starting compound, you have the organonickel compound wherein the acetylene has been coordinated to the nickel or nickel has been coordinated to acetylene and uh, one more uh, acetylene molecule gets coordinated to the nickel compound, okay. So here you have got three acetylene coordinated to the nickel metal and then uh, two of these acetylene molecules come together to form a five member ring system of which one member, one, uh, uh, I mean, one of the member in the five member ring is a nickel, all right. So, here, here you have four carbon atoms, okay, two from one, this acetylene and uh, two from this acetylene, all right. So, you get a five member uh, ring system. Again, one more acetylene molecule is added and that gets coordinated to the nickel over here. Can you see here? So, the five member ring with the nickel. And the next incoming acetylene um, coordinates to the nickel. And then cyclization happens. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 member ring is formed. Okay, a 7 member ring is formed. So this acetylene, either this or this, any of these acetylene goes into the ring. Alright, and you get a 7 member ring. You have had a 5 member ring earlier. And two more carbon atoms added, you get a seven member ring. Remember, one of the member is always nickel, not a carbon. All right. Now, uh, this acetylene also then goes into the ring. See, so you can see here, it goes into the ring. You get a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine member ring here with eight carbon atoms and ninth being the nickel. You add one more acetylene. It gets coordinated to the nickel. You have the octa tetraene moiety here. Can you see here? The octa tetraene group is here. Alright. You add one more acetylene and then these two acetylene gets coordinated to the nickel and uh, cyclocta tetraene also is coordinated to the nickel and then followed by reductive elimination wherein the nickel group is removed and you get a cyclotetra. Uh, octaene, sorry, cyclooctatetraene. 
okay so uh, your uh, the nickel compound or the nickel uh, catalyst is regenerated here the organonickel compound is regenerated here so this is the uh, synthetic mechanism of uh, cyclic tetra e yr rex synthesis which involves the use of organonickel reagent hope this is uh, clear to you all right so 3 acetylene initially 2 acetylene is uh, already coordinated to the nickel which is the catalyst and then the third one comes once the third one comes two of the acetylene molecules come together and then the fourth acetylene come and then these two, uh, well, when the fourth comes then the one of the acetylene molecule goes into the ring all right and then the fourth one also goes into the ring and you get a nine member ring here later on another acetylene comes it gets coordinated to the nickel you get the eight member ring system here another acetylene comes gets coordinated to the nickel the eight member ring system is here and now once once the uh, two acetylene molecules are coordinated to the nickel it becomes easy for reductive elimination for getting the product all right so this is the mechanism of rep synthesis now coming to another mechanism another synthesis that is synthesis of naphthalene derivative now this can also, uh, this is a sort of uh, CC bond formation wherein uh, benzene is formed. Okay, in the presence of here you have the nickel compound here, the nickel organonickel compound here. All right, so this is the uh, substrate compound which gives us the benzene, and this was uh, 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 published in 2005 in Chem Communications. All right, so this is the naphthalene derivative which we get. Now you 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 are using zinc here. All right, now uh, zinc helps in uh, the conversion of Ni two nickel two to nickel zero. Now this benzene is formed in situ, okay, and it is this benzene which reacts with the alkyne diene. All right. And the zinc will reduce Ni2 to nickel 0, nickel 2 to nickel 0. And it is to this that the alkyne gets bonded. Now, let's see the mechanism of this reaction also. It's very simple. Now, initially, what happens is you have the nickel 2 complex, okay, and uh, the zinc reduces Ni nickel to nickel 0 because of which this particular diene can get coordinated to this nickel. Alright, since Ni2 has been converted to Ni0, that's done by the ring, this ion, the diene, alkyne, dialkyne can get coordinated to the nickel and you get this complex here. This later on, you have two rings here. These are the two alkyne uh, um, uh, systems here, functional groups. Later on, what happens is they undergo ring cyclization or fusion, and uh, you get the fused ring system or fused nickel cyclopentadiene. Okay, fused nickel cyclopentadiene, two uh, pen, uh, pentane on two pentane groups are fused. And now comes our benzene. Now, where did you get the benzene from? It was from the uh, aromatic compound which has got see here uh, let us see once more look at the uh, molecule here see here you have a triflate and the TMS group attached here these two will help in the formation of our uh, uh, benzene all right easily these two can be removed and benzene will be formed so this this is the benzene which we get here and this benzene gets inserted into this uh, uh, fused cyclopentadiene system and you can see here uh, when the benzene is introduced, the, uh, of course, this is a 5 membered ring here, this one, uh, this is the uh, 7 membered ring is formed, okay, and then the 6 membered benzene comes here. Now, how did the 7 membered ring, out of the 7 membered ring, one member is nickel. Alright, so already, you, I mean, you will be having six carbon atoms here. See here, let us see, if, if we number here, uh, let's start from X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nickel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, insertion has happened. Alright, so 
five uh, nickel was the one two one two three four five nickel was the fifth atom in this compound one two three four five six seven nickel has become the seventh atom all right so this a benzyne ring has got inserted over here all right and then later on what happens is reductive elimination occurs and then the nickel uh, reagent or the nickel catalyst comes out and you get this naphthalene derivative okay now if uh, if you change the x to uh, ch2 ch2 you get a fused uh, another six member ring here if you're using x as ch2 you get a five member ring here so you can play with this x moiety here x group over here and you can get different types of naphthalene derivatives all right so uh, let's see one example of this uh, reaction here you have this example i'm sorry uh, here see here uh, you have the 17 diion group here, compound here, 17 diion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 17 octadiion, okay, 8 membered compound, okay, so that's getting, I mean, uh, that's getting, uh, uh, what is it, ring closed here, and then this benzyme gets introduced, and you get this compound naphthalene derivative, alright, so, uh, for oligomerization or uh, ring formation uh, or combination of alkynes and alkenes, uh, you can use nickel catalyst. All right, so rep synthesis and uh, synthesis of naphthalene derivative, these two can be used in the example for oligomerization of alkene and alkynes using nickel reagents or then nickel reagents. All right, now I should say thank you for you for watching. Uh, uh, thank you to you for watching this video and if ever you have any uh, clarifications to be done, please feel free to ask. Thank you.